जम्मू लिंक्स न्यूज टॉप स्टोरीज इज ड्रॉप टू यू बाय दवा खाना गांधीनगर जम्मू The Indian Air Force on Thursday night carried out major readiness exercise over Punjab and Jammu in which a big number of aircraft participated. During the exercise Indian Air Force jets including front-line aircraft flew at supersonic speeds in the border districts including Amritsar. The reason for carrying out the combat drill was to be prepared for thwarting any misadventure by the Pakistan Air Force to intrude into the Indian airspace. National Investigation Agency on Friday issued fresh summons to separatist Hurriyat leader Mirwais Umar Farooq and Naseem Gilani, the son of another separatist leader Syed Ali Shah Gilani, to be present in New Delhi for questioning on March 18th and 19th in connection with the terror funding case. The move comes amidst the government crackdown on separatist leaders in Kashmir in the aftermath of Pulwama terror attack. A gunman opened fire on Friday prayers at a mosque in New Zealand killing many worshippers and forcing the city of Christ Church into lockdown as police launched a massive manhunt. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said that over 49 people have been killed in the attack. A 40-year-old man Manzoor Ahmed Loan was forcibly taken away from his home and shot dead by terrorists in Pulwama district of Jammu and Kashmir. Initial investigation revealed that Loan was forcibly taken away by terrorists from his home in Dogripura and shot dead at nearby Gulzarpura. This was the third attack on civilians in South Kashmir in the past 2 days. Around hundreds of people were availed with free medical services in Jammu and Kashmir's Doda. This facility was provided by Sashastra Seema Bal as part of their medical civic action program in Khelani area of Doda. Poor people who cannot afford to buy costly medicines and treatment were benefited by this camp. A prominent businessman from Tangmarg area of North Kashmir's Baramulla district, Shabbir Ahmed Mir on Friday joined the People's Democratic Party. Mir who was earlier associated with National Conference resigned from the party earlier this week. France has decided to freeze the assets of Jaish e Mohammed founder and leader Masood Azhar. The French government said on Friday, a joint statement issued by the French Interior Ministry, Finance Ministry and Foreign Ministry added that France would discuss putting Masood Azhar on a European Union list of people suspected of being involved in terrorism. The 64th meeting of Shri Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board was held at the Raj Bhavan today under the chairmanship of Governor Satyapal Malik. Chairman of the Shrine Board, the Governor, while welcoming the members of the recently reconstituted board, complimented the earlier board members and lauded their commitment and valuable contributions in creating and continually upgrading facilities for convenience of the pilgrims. Several important decisions were taken in the meeting for further extending better facilities to the yatris on the yatra route. Jammu and Kashmir traffic police on Friday started a drive against Royal Enfield motorcycles against altered modified silencers. The action taken by the traffic police is in synchronization with the drive against vehicles with loud aftermarket exhaust that is being conducted by the police forces of various cities across India. More such illegal silencers causes a lot more pollution. Moreover, such loud exhaust disturb the peace of the neighborhood and can also affect the health of people with anxiety issues the workers of bharatiya janata party held a meeting at saroor adao vijaypur constituency in district samba today to frame a strategy for strengthening the party at ground level and impart awareness among the common masses regarding various policies bjp senior state vice president chandra prakash ganga led the meeting stressing on the welfare and development of every section of society A special police officer posted in the traffic department was on Friday crushed to death by a speeding truck in Punch district. The accident took place when he signaled the driver of the truck to stop for checking at Jogi mode in Surin coat but he accelerated the speed and crushed him. The SPO identified as Aftab Parvez died on the spot and later his body was handed over to his family for last rites after completion of legal formalities. Range Police Headquarters Udhampur organized 3 days long volleyball tournament with an aim to inculcate the spirit of sportsmanship and constructively engage the youth of the area. Around 8 teams from far flung areas of Udhampur and Riyasi districts participated in the tournament. 